Okay, we have the Blade 200 SRX uh, helicopter and we have the Devo 10 running deviation 4.0 software. I have the battery uh, off the helicopter off to the side for, so we can see the servos and everything better. So we're going to adjust the main motor here first and what we're going to do is we're going to boot up the uh, deviation 4.0 on the, on the Devo transmitter. Hopefully we can see the display screen. Okay, we're going to initialize the, the 200. And make sure all of our knobs and dials are, are in the normal uh, position. Mix switch, which is my panic switch. Mix one is normal. Throttle hold the one position on the dual rates for the rudder switches, the uh, neutral position. I'm going to put the F mode switch on the maximum for expert rates so we can see a maximum movement on the servos. Now we're going to uh, use the aileron stick to the right to get the, um, the aileron servo to the full top, or to the 100% right position. Um, and that's going to enter the uh, gain parameter for motor power adjustment. Now sometimes I find you have to give it a little bit of uh, elevator along with the stick to get it to go. So now we're in adjustment mode. Now we're going to use the elevator stick to bring our power right down to maximum. And then back just to here so that the servos aren't uh, twitching. So now we can lock that in. Panic mode on and back to normal. Now that's locked in. So now we're going to adjust the tail rotor and that's gain parameter 2 and we enter that by putting the aileron stick at 50% to the left. Okay, so once again we're going to carefully enter the adjustment mode, activate the panic switch, and release. Okay, now we're going to go the other way. So that's 100% right, 50% right. 50% left, 100% left. So we want the 50% left, which is right there. Now it may not look like the correct angles from the camera angle, but those are the correct uh, settings. So now we're going to again use the elevator stick and we're going to bring that tail motor power right up and back just a hair. And we're going to push the panic switch on to lock that in save it and then we're going to go back to neutral. So all that should be saved and in there. One other thing I find after messing with the uh, receiver settings and, and that uh, you have to do a reset on it sometimes uh, in order to get your self-leveling back in your intermediate mode. And that's a very simple thing to do. We're just going to bring the elevator stick down and we're going to activate the panic switch and the reset is complete and now we should be all set uh, so I'm going to zoom in here and just show you a F mode switch goes between F1 which is uh, beginner mode F2 uh, showing a partial to the right that's uh, intermediate with stabilizing and the expert mode. I'm going to leave that on the intermediate. My mix switch 1 is neutral and mix 0 flipping it up I find it easier to hit the switches that way is the panic mode 
Uh, you can also actually throw it back into intermediate mode. It'll get you the same thing and actually a little better because when you hit the panic mode, it basically locks your servos level and you're, you're uh, stuck with whatever drift you're going to get with the breeze. But with just returning it to the intermediate mode, um, you still have full control but self levels. And then the throttle hold um, on my dual rate uh, for the rudder switch is um, neutral when it's in the one and I flip it that way for throttle hold. The other switch I have engaged here is the elevator switch, elevator dual rate, and in the one position there I have a steeper throttle curve, just something extra to play with. Um, I have the first reading there is between 50 and 100 percent is my elevator uh, uh, rate adjustment rather than using dual rates. I have the control between 50 and 100 and I just determined that by trial and error. Go below 50, you don't have enough to do anything. And then the aileron dual rates between 50 and 100. And these can be set independently if you want, say, 85 percent on your aileron and you want 70 percent on your elevator. You can achieve that. A little sensitive, but you can uh, you can set that anywhere you want. And then of course I have the below that the flight timer, the permanent timer, and in the bottom right beneath the icon there I have a throttle display of 0 to 100. And uh, I find that useful for uh, just another tool to know uh, how your battery is doing. If, if you're normally um, requiring, say, 55% to hover, uh, you find yourself several minutes later requiring, say, 75%, you know that you're probably near the end of your battery. Just another indication so that you don't have to rely on uh, the LVC or, or anything like that. Kind of, you can tailor that to condition of each battery. So that is my system and it works very very well.